We haven't always been as stringent as we are now in terms of our selection, hiring, and promotions. When Jeffrey Katz took the reins as Boynton Beach Police Chief in 2013, he says he was appointed to improve an agency in turmoil. Several high-profile scandals involving the arrest of multiple Boynton officers in the summer of 2011, as well as divisions within the agency, plagued the department with scandal. According to a city commission study of the department in 2012 by Ohio-based consulting group Berkshire Advisors, the department lacked a clear direction and cliques within the agency were aligned between two majors, Wendy Unger and Frank Briganti, both of whom were fired just before Matt Imler, the 30th police chief, retired in July 2013. Katz was appointed by the city manager on an interim status, but he became permanent chief in September 2013. Just one year into his promotion, a group of officers assaulted three people in an August 2014 traffic stop after police chase and falsified reports to try to cover it up, according to a recent indictment of four of the officers by the FBI. Federal authorities have reported back that their extensive three-year investigation has led to the filing of a criminal complaint by the U.S. Attorney's Office for alleged improprieties by two of our current members and two of our former employees. Regardless of the specific details of this investigation, we will not let this incident of several years ago define us. Katz said that the charges are part of the agency's ongoing efforts to improve after he requested the FBI investigation back in 2015. Katz stepped into his new role with goals of healing the agency from inside out. Now he attributes the culture shift to selective hiring and implementing new programs and methods of training. The fact of the matter is this is an incident that took place in 2013 and we were a very different department in 2013 than we are in 2017. The men and women of this department have done extraordinary things. The progress that they have made uh, truly uh, is beyond anything that I imagined in this four-year period of time. We have continued to work to advance our transparency and to work with, uh, with members of our community. Uh, we've instituted all kinds of programs of accountability that we didn't have before, including uh, body-worn cameras for all of our personnel. We've conducted de-escalation training with all of our personnel over the years, uh, implicit bias training with our personnel over the years. Uh, we, we are continuing to work to make this agency better.